In chondroma, it occurs in about 1%. It is a benign cartilage tumor seen as an incidental finding on the x-rays. The cartilage will look like calcified arts, rings, or punctate calcification. Location in the metaphysis of lung bones, such as the proximal femur, proximal tibia, proximal humerus, and distal femur. Forty-two percent occurs in small tubular bones, such as the hands and feet. In fact, it is the most common tumor of the hand and feet. If it occurs in the pelvis or in the scapula, roll out chondrosarc. Histology. It is a cartilage lesion with basophilic cytoblasm. It has benign histologic features. It appears acellular or hypocellular with a lot of matrix and some cells that doesn't have any atypical cells or any pleomorphism. It appears more cellular in the hands and feet. It appears malignant in the hand and feet, but it is not malignant. Symptoms. No symptoms. Frequently discovered incidentally during unrelated x-ray exam. Inchondroma does not cause pain unless there is a pathologic fracture. Check for another source of pain. Sometimes it becomes initially clinically evident after a pathologic fracture, especially in the hands and feet. The radiology calcified, well-defined lesion. You will see rings, arcs, stippled calcification, punctate calcification. So it is uniformly distributed, no cortical destruction. The cortex is intact. Industrial scallopping or erosion can occur, but it is less than 50% of the cortical width and no soft tissue mass. Bone scan, you have increased uptake. The bone scan won't be called if it is bone infarct, but it is hot in inchondroma. The MRI, look at T2, you will see a lesion with high uptake. You find a lobular lesion and bright signal on T2 because of the high water content of the cartilage. Biopsy is usually not done because there is difficulty in interpreting the low-grade cartilage lesion from inchondroma. Now, this is an important part of inchondroma. When pain or industrial scallopping occurs in more than two-thirds of the cortex, think about chondrosarc. Rule out low-grade chondrosarc. The diagnostic distinction between a benign Inchondroma and low grade chondrosarc is difficult and it should be based on clinical history and the radiographic findings. Chondrosarc are usually large in size, they have a soft tissue mass, and they may have cortical destruction and preosseal reaction, and they will have significant industrial scallopping. You may have lucency on the x-ray, and it occurs more in the pelvis and scapula, and not in the hand or the feet. How about the treatment? Inchondroma does not cause any symptoms, does not need any treatment, and you don't need to do any surgery on it. What you're going to do is observation and follow-up x-rays, three months, six months, or yearly. No further workup is necessary. If there is pain, check another source of pain. For example, if you have an inchondroma in the proximal humerus, make sure that the patient does not have an impingement or a cuff tear or arthritis. In the hand and feet, pathological fracture could be treated surgically, especially if the lesion is big, because repeated fracture can occur. 
Pathological fracture immobilize the fracture with protective splint until union will allow the fracture to heal, then you will do crotage and bone graft. But if the lesion is large and further pathologic fracture is expected, then you will do crotage and bone graft. What is Olier disease? Olier disease is multiple inchondromatosis. The lesion is present from birth. It does not have a known inheritance pattern. It is inborn error of endochondral ossification. The patient will have shortened, bowed, affected limbs. It has a high incidence of malignancy, up to 25%. How about Mafushi syndrome? Multiple inchondromatosis and hemangiomas. It had the highest risk of malignant vascular tumor, angiosarcoma. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.